of divine feminine. Divine feminine. Lately, I have been told to get more information about these masculines that you're in relationships with. And some of them are in reverse. Some of them are karmics. Some of them got their crowns knocked off. But we just gonna find out why are some of the masculine energies treating the divine feminines so bad, okay? I mean, we gonna find out. Player energy came out first as I split the deck. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, the star energy. They see you as re a sign of renewed hope and faith. And you give whoever this person is a sense of renewed hope and faith. They see you as a star. You shine bright in their eyes. The sun, you make them happy. Leo energy. People are drawn to you. You have an energy that, you know, um, even when people feeling down, you know how to make them feel good. Even in the worst times, you, you like that energy to brighten up somebody's day. There's someone who... You know, you don't even know sometimes that something you didn't say, even just passing someone in public and some, it can be something short and kind and you say it, you never know. That person could have been on the edge or something and something kind you said to that person, you know, um, help somebody, gave somebody some motivation, something Okay, that's the energy that you carry. You, you you carry the energy of the sun. You could be a Leo. Yeah, you're publicly recognized for something. Or this masculine, the masculine energy too. But I see the emperor in reverse, divine feminine, Aries energy. Someone he's in reverse, he's not going by the rules. So if if he's in a, re a relationship with somebody and he's protective over that relationship and, you know, the things that the emperor do goes by the rules and um, very, what's the word? Um, uh, well organized keep things in order, but in, in reverse, he's the total opposite. So we're just going to find out what's going on with the masculine energies. They're being rebellious, making post impulsive decisions, being hot-tempered, Knight of, Knight of Swords energy. So many energies surrounding the mind of the master. They don't know how to manage their emotions. They're impatient. Now, this is not for everybody. This is just, you know, um, <coughs> it's just the, uh, um, uh, 10% reversed. Patience running out. 
uh, unable to remain calm in the situation, making impulsive decisions. That's what this master is in right now. Okay, we're gonna find out why. The fool in reverse. He's afraid to take a leap of faith, or he won't take a leap of faith. You see from that King Wands, he's a player. King of Cups right in reverse, right behind them, yeah. Not showing no love, not no emotions, don't want to get attached. Um, probably never kiss you, never hug you, or if he kiss you, it's just a smack on the lips, it's nothing passionate. Um, this is somebody when you're you're intimate with them, you're all intimate and they just trying to get some. Um, this is a King of Cups reverse and a, and a player. And they got a codependent baby mama. And uh, this is why the, the King of Cups is in reverse. This is why he ain't showing no emotions. This is why he's not starting a new, a new beginning with a Divine Feminine because he got a, uh, a karmic baby mama that's codependent on him. Confirmation for someone. Yeah. He's freed himself from this baby mama energy. Um, there's some arguments. Arguments and fights with this child's mama because he's always um, getting her hair done and her nails, you know, getting her pampered. And this keeps him from starting a new relationship with somebody else. But it looks like he's freed himself, but he's still a player. And he's 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 not um he's not showing no emotions. So for some of you, this is this masculine, this particular masculine. His child's mama is in the picture, and this is why he don't show no emotions to you. Um, she's codependent, meaning she's always needing him to do something. She don't do nothing for herself. Okay. Um, she could be fat and lazy. a lot of fights between him and her and this is why he's not showing no emotions towards you divine feminine this is why when you ask him what's going on with him he may be acting a certain way it's because he got a child's mama out here he's constantly arguing and fighting with her and his patience has ran out with her So for some of you, this could have happened in the past, and this masculine could have met you when him and this baby mama got into it, divine feminine, and he could be going back and forth between you and her. Confirmation for somebody. He has an argument and fight. He's telling her that he don't. He's no longer um, being obligated to her anymore. He don't have to be. Some of you, this this, 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 that masculine dad, the child turned 18. <clears throat> and so he don't have to pay this baby mama child support no more. That's not for everybody. Different reads have different messages. So take what resonates with you. Yeah. See, basically the world in reverse. This is a, this is a, uh, his child's mama, she don't, she don't want to do no work. Apparently, you know, I don't know. She don't want to 
she liked to take shortcuts. So this is why she's so codependent on this masculine. She probably, he probably spoiled her and had buying a lot of things for her and shit. Paying for her to get certain things done, pampering her. And um, they didn't have some big fight or something. So ladies out there, like when you're getting into a relationship with somebody and if they got a child and that child is, um, shit, uh, I don't even know what's, what age to say. They would, shit, I usually say if the child is like two to four years younger that baby mama is around or that baby daddy is around close you don't want no parts of that um sometimes them baby mamas and them baby daddies be stalkers some of them are violent and, and, and um narcissistic and do so much to keep this other person from being in a relationship and dealing with somebody like that you just you just wasting your time basically you won't you won't that's not your divine partner if you have to deal with a, a, a baby mama that's drama and he's bringing it to you now he may not be bring, bringing it to you i don't for some of you you may not know this you may be about to find out because now his patience can ran out and it's like the fool out here in reverse, he want to start a new beginning. He want to go on a new journey, something he want to, something he want to do. That may be with you, Divine Feminine. But see, whoever this Empress in reverse is, he's been taking care of her. Okay. This ain't going to resonate with everybody. This is a story, remember? Tell me more. Why is the hot temper? Mm, eight of Cups. He walking away. He ain't juggling no more, no more finances. Yeah, he's telling her he's not being obligated to all of that no more. He's tired of being overcommitted to taking care of her shit. Got him disorganized because she always wants stuff. He can't never start no new beginnings. So he walking away. Yeah, and this is karma for this baby mama. Yeah. Queen of Swords and the King of Swords right here together. And then the King of Cups in reverse. This is a married couple for somebody. And it's a King of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Married couple, fire sign couple, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You may not be married. You may be in a long-term relationship with this person. Somebody got the truth about the king of cups in reverse. Could have found out that he was married. Or could have found out about his baby mama. He done walked away from her. She, he was, he was like taking care of her financially. Tell me more. Now he working on himself, working on his pinnacles, making plans and shit. As soon as that bell rang, yeah, 
Yeah. He put some heat. He he ended some shit. Tell me more about this masculine and this ending. What happened with this ending? Why is death here? She don't want to change. Six of swords in reverse. She don't want to change. She's codependent. She wants him to take care of her. She don't want to do nothing in a relationship. She just wants him to take care of her. It's a painful ending. Ten of Swords. Death. She don't want to change. Also, that um, this emperor that came out in reverse. This emperor, he don't want change either. That's why somebody ended something because somebody didn't want to change. The Aquarius, the star energy out here, the emperor Aries energy out here, uh, the death with Scorpio out here. Devil, Capricorn. So we got an Aries, Aquarius, a Capricorn, and a Scorpio. A Capricorn, Aquarius, an Aries, and a Scorpio. Yeah. So one of those signs may be significant to you. Or you may be one of those signs. Yeah, so apparently this masculine has walked away from this karmic baby mama. He didn't stop, you know, treating her. Um, she probably, she's a, a name brand junkie. Yeah, and she's a, she all into all of these new trends and new clothes and new hairstyles and a bunch of wigs and weaves and, you know, getting wigs and shit installed instead of taking her ass in there and doing it her damn self. Instead of going paying all that money to get your hair, you know, to pay for somebody to install a wig, they be charging $200 and $300 to install a wig. She need to watch some YouTube videos and learn how to do that her damn self. It is do-it-yourselves out there. DIYs. Shit, just type in DIY. Eyelashes. DIY. Um, or how to put on the strips. And, you know, shit. Type it in. But this is somebody, she's, she's lazy. She ain't doing nothing like that. She want this masculine to treat her to take her to the shop to get her nails done, to get her eyelashes done, to get her hair installed, her wig installed. Um, go into the, the Chanel store, get purses, shoes, bags, all that shit. Wallets. Um, she probably wear a lot of jewelry and shit. And it's because this masculine been spoiling her and she ain't been doing nothing for herself. She codependent. This is the reason why a lot of these masculines out here, they're not able to treat their divine feminines the real way because they have 
a baby mama out there that's codependent on you. Yeah. If they walking away though, then confirmation, see? Yeah. All right, so Divine Feminine, and as I lay this date down, Nine of Cups, you they wish come true. And they having regrets. Yep, they having regrets. They going through inner turmoil with this baby mama. So now they ghosting her. Yep, they walked away from her. They tapping into their full potential. Knowing that she trying to slow them down. They stop having sex with her. Mm -hmm, because they know it's a, a routine. If they have sex with her. Um, they, they she do this when they know they fit that she they, they she you know wants sex from them when she knows that he's with somebody else or finna start with somebody else start something new she come in and you know have sex with him to still state like we still together well you didn't say that last week we was together he didn't stop that so she can't say well it wasn't it ain't been since we've been together if you got somebody new it's the last time we fucked was, um, that was um, six months ago, or that was three months ago. I just met this girl two weeks ago, but this baby mama would try to come in and, you know, try to make her seem like they, her and the masculine just had sex last night. So this is a painful ending for her. Yeah, she cussing him out, yeah, because she don't want, she don't want to change. She cussing him out. She paranoid. He has a breakup. Yep. There was no equal give and take in the relationship between her and him. Yep. He spoke some truth to her. Yeah. He would take her and pay for her to get her hair done and her nails done. He'd take her in the Chanel store or Louis Vuitton or whoever all the name brand shit. She wouldn't take him to the barber. She won't take him to help him get his car fixed or nothing. It's unequal. She wanted this masculine to be um, attached to her. She's like holding him against his will. Codependent, dependent on him, trying to keep him from making any new moves, um, any challenges, confirmation, anything new come into his life or new person comes into his life. She tries to block it by using him financially so he can't spend his money, the same money that he's spending on her. Doing that, and she's not trying to do the same for him. He could be spending that money on the Divine Feminine, or Divine Feminine is going to equally do the same financially for him. Equal give and take. Yeah. So, I'm going to stop this reading because I'm sleeping. It is it's 10.34 p.m. And I'm sleeping. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Interested in a personal reading? All the information will be in the description box below. Um, I do offer a one question, five dollar reading, and if you want one, you ask the question, send the cash app to me, and you get your your answer back. I won't say twenty four hours. You get your your answer back within an hour. Okay, on a pre recorded message. All right, peace out.